cooler weather always makes me want comfort food and this cheesy cauliflower mac and cheese hits the spot. We use only minimal ingredients and they're all keto friendly to make this delicious cauliflower mac and cheese. And I know there's some of you that refuse to eat cauliflower because you think it's gross, but this does not taste like cauliflower at all. It just tastes like creamy cheese and you have to make it. We're gonna start by steaming our cauliflower floret. So I'm laying down a steamer basket in a large stock pot and have about an inch of water underneath. I'm gonna add in one pound of cauliflower and bring that to a boil and steam it until it's fork tender. I'm just using pre-cut cauliflower florets because that's super easy, but feel free to grab a whole head of cauliflower and cut up those florets yourself. We're gonna set that aside to cool and we're gonna move on to our cheesy sauce. You're gonna add three tablespoons of butter to a saucepan and melt that over medium heat. Next, stir in three tablespoons of almond flour. If you didn't wanna use almond flour, you could substitute with like a half a tablespoon of coconut flour or maybe some arrowroot powder. If you use xanthan gum, it might make it a little slimy. So I'd avoid using xanthan gum. Stir that for about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna slowly whisk in some heavy cream. You'll need one cup of heavy cream. Now you can substitute with nut milk if you wanted, if you didn't want the excess calories from the heavy cream. We're also gonna be adding in one teaspoon of salt, and then we're gonna bring this to a boil and reduce it to a simmer and let it simmer until it's thickened. It should take around five or six minutes. Once it's thickened and it's enough to coat the back of your spoon, we're gonna slowly add in our cheese. You can use whatever combination of cheese you want. I'm gonna use a combination of Gruyere cheese and sharp cheddar cheese. I have six ounces of the sharp cheddar and then three ounces of the Gruyere cheese. And I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. You guys told me how to pronounce it before, but I forgot. So you wanna add in your cheese slowly and then whisk it in between until it melts. And you can see it starting to get super creamy and cheesy. You can also experiment with different types of cheeses like pepper jack cheese, Colby Jack, um, also Fontina cheese. I've used that before, it's really good. Once it's smooth and combined, we're gonna just drizzle that all over our cooked cauliflower and then toss it together with a spoon. And this keto cauliflower mac and cheese is done and ready to be served. This is something that you could actually prep up ahead of time as well. It does keep in the refrigerator for several days. The sauce does thicken once it's cool, but once you heat it up, it becomes super melty and creamy and cheesy again. Seriously, this recipe is so good. It's so simple and you can't even taste the cauliflower. Mm -hmm. 